Oh yeah, we're settled in the new flat with nice squeaky floorboards and I can finally resume making book reviews. And while I was away, uh, two new books uh, by in the Barnes & Noble leather-bound collection have arrived, The Wizard of Oz and The Emerald City of Oz. Um, and I wanted to review The Wizard of Oz today, specifically. Um, it happens to be the only book in the Barnes & Noble leather-bound collection that is yellow. Uh, the only orange one being Dune, which is out of uh, print and very, very expensive second-hand at the moment. Uh, I hope that they're going to republish that. Um, but uh, but anyway, so it is the only the only yellow uh, yellow book so far uh, in publication in the Barnes and Noble leatherbound collection, and it's beautiful. Let me get a little bit closer to it. The um, the colour there is actually um, a, a shiny emerald green, kind of glittery. It's very very nice. Um, the kind of white colour that you can see there is actually not white, it's um, it's silver, so it reflects the light. Um, and the overall effect is very nice. The leather itself is uh, is very glossy. Uh, I guess it's um, kind of similar to the effect that you get on the Arabian Nights um, in the Barnes & Noble coll uh, collection. Um, the sticker on the front, well, you know, I'm not a fan of stickers on, on these leather-bound editions, but uh, sometimes you just can't help it. And this just happens to be a very nice um, illustration by W.W. Downslow, uh, taken straight from the pages within. So that's the front. The spine, again, looks really, really beautiful on the shelf. can see the um, the green reflecting the light from the window there. Very, very nice emerald effect. The Wizard of Oz, once again, you get this glittery, glittery effect. The tin Man climbing over the wall, once again, illustration by uh, Downslow. This uh, book does contain the first five volumes, uh, the Emerald City of Oz, the, the, the green book, um, contains the following five books, books, is books six to ten, and this is what you get on the back. Um, again, the, the font is slightly embossed, but um, not really enough to mention, to be honest. But it's, um, it's very pretty, a view of the Emerald City's roofs. Picture of Dorothy dreaming there with Toto on her side. And the names of the five books within. There was Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Marvelous Land of Oz, Ozma of Oz, with Dorothy and the Wizard in Oz, and The Road to Oz. There we are. Now, there is a little quirk to this book. The, um, this, uh, the edge is green. All of the other books in the Barnes & Noble leather-bound collection are either gold or silver, and this one's a really nice emerald green. It's just a nice, um, nice little Easter egg there, I guess you could say. Um, what do we get inside? A nice emerald pattern. Repetition of the cover as usual. Contents, as in the five books contained within this omnibus. Uh, an introduction, as usual, and we get straight started straight away with the first book, and that's where you get the contents in terms of the chapters. So you do get the name of the chapters here. Chapter one, the cyclone as opposed to in the Everyman edition. Um, bring the two together here, just, uh, just for a quick comparison. Doopie 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 doo. A little 
illustration of Toto in the introduction, which we didn't get in the other. Again, these are illustrations that are found inside. And um, whoa, can I do this with one hand? Uh, yes, possibly. I just wanted to show you the difference between the two first pages. Here, um, this little square here has been added to extend the picture. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not doing too well here. I'm trying to hold hold the camera and uh, and the books at the same time. Can you see that it the the size of Dorothy is actually the same in both books. The width, however, is slightly longer. Slightly longer. It actually looks like the Dorothy and the Everyman is taller. So actually, sorry, I'll take it back. What seems to have happened is that the illustrations in the Barnes and Noble collection uh, have been slightly reduced in size and extended towards the right. Um, I'll be honest with you, I prefer the font in the Barnes & Noble collection. Although this is quite a classic, you know, um, reader's font. Let me give you another example here. Um, here's the picture in the Everyman collection at the start of the, the following chapter. We have uh, Dorothy with with a pet dog Toto and over here we have the same illustration and you can kind of see a little uh, little darker line here where they have simply added they've simply added um, some um, well extended the image have I just destroyed my book ah uh... <laughs> I'm sure that'll, uh, that'll straighten out. Um, all right, so, but to be honest, if I didn't, if I hadn't had the Everyman to compare it with, I would never have noticed that. And the illustrations really are um, very clear, very well, very well reproduced. And you get the titles of the chapters here, which you don't in the Everyman. Um, and, but once again here, you can see the kind of slightly darker cut here where they've extended the image. I thought it was kind of interesting. Okay. Beautiful illustrations all the way through. This was um, obviously the first of the five books um, but then once you get a little bit further. It feels also like Downslow's um, skill uh, improves as well. Let me try and find a, an example of what I mean. There we go. This is getting a little bit closer to to the end here. Um, it, it feels like he he kind of. Uh, found his stride a little later here. He's really enjoying those textures and um, when you compare that to the rather uh, naive images at the, at the beginning of the book. It's quite a difference. So um, again, you get to the final page of 
the last book. Oh man, that's really quite beautiful, isn't it? Goodbye, Osmo. Goodbye, Dorothy. You get to the last page of the last book. It says the end, and uh, and that's it. There's nothing really after that. Um, so there we are, uh, the Wizard of Oz, the first five novels, uh, the Barnes and Noble leather-bound edition. Um, looking very very nice on the shelf. If I can get it back in, there we go. A little bit tight there. Maybe I need to rethink my my arrangement. These, these comics will eventually go when, when um, further, further books start to arrive. And yeah, just, uh, just a, a final uh, comparison between the glossiness of, uh, of, of these books. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's just very nice and shiny. And you have these, um, these binding um, braces, I guess. Um, uh, the top ones all match. The bottom ones, well, the uh, Oz books have have two of them, whereas um, yeah, the the ones surrounding here on the shelf only have one. But um, that really doesn't matter. It's um, it's very beautiful. Hope you like the video.